So our link short story prompts for today, what we're looking at is the themes that interest you. So even in a very short Catherine Mansfield short story, there were, I think, five themes. Of course, there's one that's primary, and that's usually to do with your ending. So depending, you know, if your character moves forward to a new understanding, then your, your theme might be about growth. It's a rite of passage, um, which is, you know, our whole lives are a series of rites of passage. Um, so think about the themes that interest you. And if you're unclear about either all of your themes, you might have one or two, but if you feel like there are more themes and you want to know more about them, one way to go about it is to think about either your top five books from the last few years or childhood, actually. Um, it could be any time. Um, or your favorite TV show or film, especially if it's something that you've read or watched more than once. If you've repeated it, that is a solid indication that there's something pretty deep going on in that story for you. It doesn't matter if it's a book or if it's TV or film. That doesn't matter. Um, so think about what that theme is in something that you've rewatched or reread and see if, write it down, see if you've got, think about the writing that you've done and, and ask yourself how many pieces of writing do I have that might have this theme in it? Because very often we have, you know, we write short pieces without really thinking about why. And those can be some of the most interesting things to review because it's the true you popping out on the page. So you want to dig into that um, and in this exercise, consider whether any of your other writings might fit your theme and therefore whether those writings could be added to your, dra your draft of your collection, even if they need editing later.